Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make triplets in GarageBand 10. I'm in version 10.1.0 for reference. And I hope you can live with my Swedish accent. So, there used to be a ruler icon here where you could customize your grid which was very helpful uh, when you created music by inserting notes here in the edit window now that is gone and all we have is this zoom we are in 4-4 uh, time so we see quarter notes here, and uh, if we zoom in, we see 16th notes. That's it. And the same thing in the edit window. 16th notes. So how do you create, for instance, 8-note um, triplets in GarageBand 10? Well, there is no really easy way like it used to be. But I'll show you three different ways, and you you can choose the one that fits you the best. So first off, if you have a song and you want a triplet feel throughout your song, you can change the time signature to uh, twelve eight notes. Now every quarter note is divided into three. And actually, what we see here is uh, it's divided into uh, six, which means it's 16 note triplets. If we zoom out a little bit, it's uh, eight note triplets. And um, let's create a, a region here. So it sounds like this with the click on one two three four like that so if we go into the edit window it's um, um, the grid is actually snapping uh, to the triplets right now just like uh, in the olden days so let's make some music here by command clicking. Like that. So every square here in the uh, grid is one 16 note triplet right now. So we need to do two squares to get one 8 note triplet. So copy this by uh, clicking and holding down ALT key okay there we have something sounds like this so this is an easy way to do it if you uh, if you want this feel throughout but what if you have a song, it's a straight feel, you want straight 16th notes or something, but you want triplets as well. Let's change back to 4-4 four, four time. And let's lower the tempo to maybe um, 80. Yeah, it's about the same tempo. Okay, now the grid is back to straight 16th notes. But we want triplets. So, one way is to record yourself with a MIDI keyboard, for instance. So, Let's do that. All 
Okay, it's the same little musical idea. But as you can see here in the edit window, the grid is not um, syncing with the notes anymore because these are 16th notes and these are 8 note triplets. So what you can do is uh, go to this time quantize menu. You choose 8 note triplets. It's uh, this one. And uh, it cleans these up. So every start of every note is on the right, right place. Uh, you might need to do something about the, the length of the notes if you want to. Well, it sounds like this. And now you have a pattern that you can work with. For instance, um, um, copy this one. And it change the the notes around. And as I said, the the notes won't snap to the grid. Uh, but if you if you slip a little, let's, like this, uh, just press the Q here, and it will uh, correct the notes. Okay, one complicated way to do it to uh, to the next one which is uh, using the score window so press here press notes and uh, insert you choose uh, eight note triplets it's this one and you need to be very careful Command click, well, almost right, this is supposed to be one half step up, like that, and um, now we can copy in the same way as you do in the, the piano roll. And maybe something like that. The same phrase. And when you go back to the piano roll, there it is. So this is uh, the three ways I know how to uh, create triplets. If you know another way, maybe a better way, uh, please let me know in the comments. It would be interesting to see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.